Hello, people. I am Jabby Kawei, and joining me is Anisha, aka Rickshaw Wali. We are going to look at Victoria and Abdul, trailer number one. I'm 81 years of age and have almost a billion citizens. I've been in office 62 years, making me the longest serving monarch in history. Do you dance? <coughs> have we finished? Love her. Abdul, you will travel to England. The royal household. You will present the queen with a ceremonial coin. Wow. Whatever you do, you must not look at her majesty. Hey, isn't that irritation? No, it's not irritation. No, it's not. Sorry, I thought it was. There's a famine in India. Prime Minister, you really are terribly depressing. Yes. Jane, her majesty. I suddenly. I know him. Better. From... She has requested Mr. Kareem be her personal footman. How do you like your Scottish costumes? They're very scratchy. Everything in Scotland is scratchy. What can they be talking about? What is a mango? The queen of fruit. I would like a mango. They only grow in India. Well, I'm Empress of India, so I have one cent. <laughs> no one really knows what it's like to be queen. Mother! Are you spying on me? Everyone I've loved it has died, and I just go on and on. What is the point? So is your majesty. We are here for a greater purpose. You are a servant no longer. You will teach me Urdu and the Quran. Wow. You've upset the order of everything. Drop this Indian peasant. Oh, we will have you certified insane. Wow. Please. I am cantankerous, greedy, fat. I am perhaps disagreeably attached to power. But I am anything but insane. I'm Queen of England. Empress of India. Abdul has risen on his own merits. Now, he is my friend. I haven't been as happy as this for years. Wow. A little surprise. What is it? A mango, mango. Your Majesty. It's off. So Henry, this mango is off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just watched him in a web series called Bang Baja Barat. Oh, he's yeah. from the... Oh, really? He was yeah. in a web series? Oh, he wow. was in a web series. What's his he's, name? He's a, he's a film actor. He's been around. He's, he's also in Fast and the Furious, I think. I'll, I'll leave us that? all. He's been in a lot of stuff. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Wow, so yeah, he's done, he was in Furious 7. He, in, I mean, he was, so he's but, done Indian stuff and he's doing Hollywood. That's amazing. He's in Three Idiots. Like, he's been in a lot of stuff. He, That's but but uh, Bang Baja Barat is where I'm most familiar with him because mm -hmm. I literally just watched that. Oh, I also watched Happy Bug Jayagi. Obviously, again, Bang Baja Barat is where I've watched him the most like, mm -hmm. and, and focused on him. But yeah, he's a good actor. I like him. I like how he delivers his lines. Yeah, so. no, it, it, looked, it looks pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm actually pretty surprised. I did not expect this. I really like Judy Dench, of course, but I like this whole twist of it, how he becomes important in her life and changes her life and everything. I really, really enjoy that. Well, it's just cool because she's upsetting the norm, the status quo, and people aren't with that, they're not hip to it. And she's got this strong curiosity about these foreign things, and everyone's like, no, 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 you gotta do things the way we've traditionally so done. He's and disrupting, she, basically. And she's, yeah, she's disrupting this. And, I'm like, and she's like, no, f all that. I wanna do what I wanna do. I'm the queen, bitches. Yeah. I can do what she I is. want. I'm not insane. I'm yeah. not crazy. So. No, no, no. I think even the fact that they have picked him as an actor to do that, I mean, A, it's uh, incredible for him and a great opportunity, but I think even throughout the trailer, he looked like he, he's really doing a great job. He's doing justice to the role. Again, you can't see too much of it. Basically, it shows the different dynamics of how she is between all her royalty and him. And I think that is something interesting which will be very, very fun to watch. Ali Fazal certainly feels, like you were saying, it feels genuine. He's bringing a lot to the role. I just watched him playing this kind of, the, the, the handsome lead in, in, as part of a couple in Bangra Jabarat. Whereas here he's playing this man of servitude and I believe him as the man of servitude in this trailer. I'm excited to see his performance alongside Judy Dench. And honestly, who's a, who's I'm like excited. a classic actor. I'm, I'm excited to see another Indian face, honestly, in Hollywood, of course, because we've seen, of course, we know Dev Patel, we know Frida Pinto, which is amazing, but I'm happy to see another Indian face because it's very rare to see that. That also excites me to see Ali Fazal. So, gotta wait and watch how that's gonna be. This is a story I've never heard of. I'm sure a lot of you guys who are watching this probably heard of this story, but I, I, this is completely new to me. Mm -hmm. I didn't know this ever took place. 
place, so Same it's of extreme curiosity to me just to see how this went down. There's gonna be a lot of fiction in here to fill in the blanks, because not everyone knows exactly what they were talking about, but they have a strong idea. And, and they wanna make a movie, of course, so yeah. of course they have to make it entertaining yeah. at some point. I still am curious about this story, just it, it at all, because I'm surprised I never heard about it. This seems like such a big deal. I love that the fact that this, like, we had, uh, Judy Dench was also in the Marigold Hotel or something, where they had also the India, US, or Britain, like, uh, crossover thing, and even in this, that we have that again. Judy Dench is doing a lot of these roles, which is pretty awesome and, and exciting for me, and I love Judy Dench, of course, and that we actually get to see more of these secret stories, which people have not heard about ever. Yeah. That is, I think, one of the coolest things. One is kind of tired to see the same thing over and over. I mean, you see a lot of superhero movies nowadays, so sure. something like that is actually something disruptive. You're like, oh, it's, wow. It's refreshing. Yeah. But this is coming out at the start of the drama season. Fall is when you start to see these dramatic films that are more geared towards the Oscar season. And I feel like this is potentially an Oscar runner for uh, Judy Dench and hopefully for Ali Fazal. I mean, like, that'd be great if he got nominated for an Oscar and won! How I crazy mean, would that, that be? That would be you know? insane. I mean, hello. Uh, that, that's that would, awesome. That would be pretty cool. It wouldn't be the first time something about India won. Sundog Millionaire. Sundog Millionaire I mean, was one, one, one even. They've won like yeah. eight Oscars or something. Yeah. But I don't. I mean, I don't know how many Indians won in that. Yeah, but... Raman won for sure. He's an Indian composer. So he okay, did there, there you go. Oh, that's right. That's right. Okay. Okay, so there you go. You guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out our other reactions, reviews, short films, video game related videos. Be sure to check out Anisha's channel. AKA you Rick Shabazz, yeah, guys. There you go. <laughs> She's got a lot of comedy videos on there that are worth checking out. Also, make sure to hit the bell icon if you're watching this on mobile. I'm Jabby Kawai. This is Anisha, AKA Rick Shavali. Peace out.